model based on the F-16V with a new structure which will see this aircraft service life through to beyond the year 2060 and block 70 F-16s are being delivered this year to Bahrain and Slovakia which is a new F-16 customer to replace their now retired MiG-29 fighters of course there are now more than 4,600 F-16s that have rolled off the production lines, of which it's estimated that about 3,200 are still operational. With two attrition replacement orders of these, 64 aircraft were then subsequently upgraded to the midlife update or MLU standard. And all the Danish F-16s are now concentrated with fighter wing Skridstrup. And this one comes to us from 727 fighter squad. Here's the F-16 celebrations at Riat 2024. And here it is, on the roll.
display, a colour multifunction display to aid SO, and advanced electronic. <laughs> The F-16s live in Danish service, coming towards an end, though it's got a little while to go yet. The F-35 Lightning II has been selected as its successor. Denmark is buying 27 of those, and they're aiming for a full operational capability on them in 2027. The first four F-35s for Denmark arrived at their base at Skridstrup in October of last year and at the NATO summit held earlier this month a statement from the Danish and Dutch governments said that F-16s provided by both of those countries are en route to Ukraine and will start operating there with the Ukrainian Air Force this summer. Also this year, Denmark confirmed that it's going to be selling 24 of its F-16s to Argentina. Coming in for the final pass, we're expecting a wing-waving run. Danish F-16s being passed on to other operators. Talking to the display pilot the other day, he said hopefully they'll be able to get at least one more display season in. Squadron, the Royal Danish Air Force didn't think they'd be able to participate in uh, today's show with the unserviceability of the primary, especially marked jet. For those of you who were here first thing this morning before the display will remember that this one came in from Skidstrup, landed with us in order for the display to be flown by Captain Trolls Deli Fang of the Royal Danish Air Force with the F-16AM Fighting Falcon, a storming display in these poor conditions.